inscribed in the entombed relics of the ancient past, and arcane prophecy ruled the vortex of the royal blood. Long before history unleashed the oblivious minds of humanity, the scriptures foretell the sovereignty of kingdoms in the vast domains of the land. The priority and reign of superior kings and queens laid the power and strength over the vast terrains. The kingdom of Zeremoth, prominently ruled by King Rosipia, the successor of King Zuvila and Queen Brazilda of Kasil area of Frozen Tundra. Petrified in the tranquility, this fortified citadel is cloaked in the dark and horrible secrets, the secrets of the course of the royal blood. But days have passed and a strange illness continued in making Princess Rufia to suffer until that night, that very night, when she finally meet her doom. Princess Rufia! Rufia! Years have passed and the royal family had already recovered from their loss until... How are you, Princess Sophia? I'm fine, Father. How about you, Princess Margaret? I'm quite okay. Oh, Sandra! 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 At the dining area of the royal palace, a brilliant scenario impeded the entire kingdom. Princess Cassandra faintly lost the consciousness. So the royal messenger brought the message to every village and township in the kingdom. After three days, the four best healers of the land laid their way towards the palace. And so the quest for the greatest healers have begun. Herbalism, druidism, voodoo, spells and medicine, imbued by different experts to rejuvenate the dying princess. Using their skills and knowledge in science, spells and enchantment, the four impale the most effective elixir and magic to cure the I am Herbashus of the Black Forest, and I already know how to cure the disease. Thank you, Drew from the Black 
day like me. It is I, Devin Rod of Kung. And I have here now the answer to the mysterious illness of the royal princess. The regret of Kalkuta. I thought this is a curse from a wicked witch. But it wasn't my dream. In fact, this illness is inheritable within your blood. And it is transferred between generations of your blood. And from whom it could be? It's from the very first queen of this kingdom, who have died with the same disease. And I have observed the, the symptoms of this illness in the princess. Is there a name with this disease? I'm so sorry, my queen, but there's none. But days have passed, and the strange illness continued in making Princess Cassandra. Until that night, that very night, when she finally meet her doom. Doom, doom, royal doom, defile this kingdom and all its glad. Doom, doom, royal doom, defile this kingdom and its royal glad. My queen, my queen, what happened? A witch came and cast a spell on our kingdom. What? My queen, it's okay. I'm already here. I'm here. Good day, royal story. It is I, living rod of Kalkut. And I am here in search for the family history of the king. Oh, the history of the royal clan. Yes, it is. Do you have it here? Yes, I have it. It is written in the oracles and inscribed in the, the schools. The great history of the clan. Can I look for the king? Oh, the history of the royal clan. Yes, it is. Do you have it here? Yes. I have it. It is written in the oracles and inscribed in the, the schools the great history of the clan. Can I look for it? So who among the first family gets sick, which is same to that of the princess? It is written in the school. Approximately 553 years ago, oh. Queen Proxima of Gudia Complexica suffered and died from an incurable illness. She died. So now, I know. Thank you, Royal Historian. My pleasure.